This video is to demonstrate the feature of ComTrade file playback. Most of the numerical relays have the facility to record the ComTrade files in the CFG format, which can be played back to ensure the working of the relay. In this software we'll use the test module called ComTrade. When I click on this, a new window opens, so I've currently connected a test kit to ABB REL670 relay, and I have two oscillograph files from a different make relay that is GED60 and D30 relay, which has tripped at site for different fault locations. I'm going to import to playback and verify the results. To import, you need to click on the third icon. I have the D60, zone 1, 89 kilometers, and this is the CFG file. So this displays only the CFG file, but it's a combination of DAT and header file. So let me show that. When I go to the desktop in the oscillograph folder, CFG, DAT and HDR, all three files come together. If only the CFG file is available, the test kit cannot play back. So that's a universal format. All of the three files have to come together. Once the three are together, you can import it like this. The voltage and current channels are signed and this is for 89 kilometers, which was tripped at site. So now I'm going to play back by pressing the play button. I'm just waiting for the channels to get uploaded here. And the relay has tripped now. So you can see this LED is for zone one and the relay has tripped in 33%, 89.39 kilometers. So let me just repeat the test to verify what the kilometers are again. I'm just going to click play. So the relay is tripped again in zone and I just need to wait for it to update. It's 89.39 kilometers. So let me play another oscillograph file. I'm going to click here, open again. This is from a D30 relay. It has tripped at 105 kilometers. So let me import and play this file. So I should get roughly around 105 kilometers for this file. Okay, so it's tripped in zone one, 39% and 104 kilometers. So this is the way we play back an oscillograph file. 